Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing an explanation on this new computer. This is a Dell desktop, Inspiron 3880. I'm sorry about the angle on the camera. I'm not able to film it in a way that you can see the entire desktop. So what I'll be doing is I'll be moving the computer at a certain angle. At least you get to see what I'm working on right in the middle here. Okay, so let me flip it around. Uh, if you take a look at the back on the computer, you should see that your desktop is says Dell Inspiron 3880. And as I'm going to move up, this is the audio for your speaker, HDMI output to your first monitor. And if you want to have a secondary monitor, you can do so by doing a VGA to the secondary. Or you can just put the first and the second, doesn't really matter. All right, here comes your USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and this is your Ethernet plug. As you can see that there's no graphics card installed on this model. And lastly, the final at the bottom here is your power supply. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look in the, in the front. So if you take a look in the front here, uh, this is how it looks like. This is the uh, DVD ROM. The power switch here is on the top right corner. Your SD card. This is your headphones, right? Uh, your USB ports here. That's the logo. And this run on an Intel i3 10th generation processor. Alright, so let's put it on the side. Let's lay it flat. We turn it around. There are two screws that is holding the side panel and the screw doesn't come out so you unscrew it and then you can just pull open the side panel alright let me put it this way as you can see this is your DVD drive on the very top here okay so this is your DVD drive or the CD drive here is your hard drive this is a one terabyte Seagate hard drive and bottom here is a power supply. So as you can see the power supply is not a regular 24 pin connector. Uh, this is somewhat like proprietary to Dell itself. So it's a different type of power supply. You may be able to add graphics card here but you need to have the graphics card that doesn't require the power. So some graphics card requires to have um, like a six pin connector to power on the graphics card some of the low-end graphics card doesn't so i show it to you one of the example like the low-end graphics card does not read the power supply would be something like this as you can see this is an old version of the graphics card okay and it doesn't require power supply this run on a pcie slot which you have one of the slot here so if you want to install it uh, all you can do is let's see it says pull open it up and then go ahead and slide open the uh, one of this you need to remove it so the slot can go in here okay and go ahead and install by push by doing so all right so this is the low grade power uh, graphics card Okay, so let me put this one back in. Uh, we are not doing. We are not going to install the graphics card on this video. I just want to explain to you um, in the future if you have any, you know, broken parts, um, you can follow this video. Uh, this is brand new computer. It just came in today, and I wanted to show it to you. Um, if you want to change the power su supply, let's say a power supply is is dead. There was a search and it burned out your computer. What you want to do is you want to look into this uh, model right here. So it says L200ERS-001. Um, yeah, so look it up on your power supply um, or maybe this model right here. Sorry, or maybe this model right here. Google. 
on eBay or Amazon you might be able to find the power supply replacement make sure that you match the uh, connector here as well and this 4 pin connector here for the power supply replacement so to replace the power supply it's pretty straightforward there are three screws here a regular Phillips screw go ahead and unscrew them Okay, once you have the three screws removed, there's a push here, you need to push it so that it slides out towards your right side of it. And as you can see, all the cables are still intact. You need to work your way around it and untangle all the cables. There's a zip tie here, cut it out, cut it, cut it, and that's how you remove the entire power supply. So for this process, I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to point it out to you. That's how you change your power supply if you need, you need to do that. Okay, to put it back in to install, just go ahead and slide it in. And you can hear the little click. Once the thing is clicked on, go ahead and put back the three screws in the back. Alright, so now if you have a bad hard drive, you need to replace the hard drive or maybe you intend to upgrade your hard drive to a solid state drive, uh, you can do it from here. So go ahead and kind of open this up a little bit. Okay, so the front panel is going to come right out just like that. Okay, so the front panel will just come right out. You just got to open up this three clipper a little bit and you will slide out on this way. Okay, once you have that slide out, go ahead and remove the four screws. There are one, two, three, four. And these four screws are the one that holds on to your um, hard drive. Okay, all the four screws are removed. Your hard drive should just come right out without any problem. Okay. All right, and this is your CPU. The CPU is hidden underneath here and your motherboard is here. I'm not going to show you how to do the motherboard replacement um, and the CPU but you get an idea on how to take a look at the motherboard and the CPU here. And this is your RAM. You do have an extra slot for the RAM. You can increase the RAM by adding additional um, DDR4 RAM. Okay, so this is a DDR4 uh, desktop RAM that you can add additional here and for those of you who wants to install a P, uh, NVMe the M.2 drive and this is the slot where you can install it alright so this is the step I hope you like the video if you have any question comment below until next time I'll make more video for you take care and bye bye